Hello, Internet. So today we are going to be doing another Unity Asset review. <clears throat> this one is going to be the Old Cemetery Pack by Greenworks. These are the same people that did the uh, mansion asset that I reviewed not long ago. Um, this asset retails for $29 USD at the time of uh, the time of recording this. Um, <clears throat> just like always, we're going to go down the list. Remember, it's pass-fail, it's not number ratings. Uh, the quality of the asset, in my opinion, is pass. I mean, it's really, really good quality. Um, modularity and workability. Uh, you know, <clears throat> this isn't the sort of asset that has a lot of modularity because it's not like a buildings asset. Um, but I do think that it's, I, I would pass it, you know, because it, it can fit with other assets really well. It can fit with, it pairs really nicely with the mansion pack, um, that they did. Uh, so would argue that the modularity is, um, is there, mod, or yeah, modularity and workability support and serviceability. Uh, they have, uh, they have good, uh, a good amount of communication with their people from what I can tell, or their people from their customers rather from what I can tell, um, and the value, uh, you know, <clears throat> so it's $29. We'll go through the asset manifests in a little bit. Um, just like we always do when assets have them. Um, there's not a lot of prefabs in here. <laughs> so if you compare it to like their mansion pack, I, I think the value isn't on par with that for what you get out of it. But I would, I also argue that the mansion pack was like criminally underpriced at what it was. So I think if you compare apples to apples here and you compare this to other assets by other developers that are similar, I think that the value is very high. So I would also pass it on value as well. So let's dive on in here into the actual uh, scene. Uh, as you can see, there's a few different types of gravestones. There's some statues. This is just their, like I said, their um, demo scene for this. Uh, so we've got actual graves. Uh, like I said, playing gravestones. We've got some urns and stuff like that. Um, different headstones and stuff. Um, cobblestone stuff like that so floor clutter uh this this is in effect a clutter pack you know and you all know how much i love my clutter so it should come as no surprise that this is in my opinion a pretty decent uh asset these stairs are part of the asset so it gives a good like sort of creepy if you have to go up a hill adding stairs to that vibe um and then some mounds and stuff like that. So that's essentially the <laughs> the um, the demo scene. There's not a lot to this one. Um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna hop into the into the actual manifest scene, and we'll just go down by the numbers. Again, this is a clutter pack, so it's it's one of those types of assets that you can. It's not meant to be like an all-in-one. It's it's meant to enhance existing assets. So <clears throat> to that point, the fences, they, they, they did a good job with the modularity. Although I will say a number of these fence pieces are the same ones you can get in the mansion pack. <laughs> so if you already have that and you're importing the two together, just be aware of that. Uh, the ivy... I feel, I, I feel like they did a good job on the ivy. There's even more ivy in here than there is in the mansion pack, and I feel like the ivy in here is is good. So you can really play with that. Um, here's those grave mounds I was talking about. Here's the actual graves. So a decent variety of those. A good variety of gravestones. I, I think that these are... Um, uh, in general, I, I think you just get a good amount of those. Um, hop back here, a couple of trees, some grass, you know, you can get that anywhere. The walk, the cobblestone walkways and here are those stairs that I was talking about. All they did was they, well, since this is a flat plane, we'll have to do it a little bit differently, but they essentially just like brought it down into the terrain. So it was like that. Um, but that's, a like, you have a lot of options with that sort of step set. 
Um, so these urns, and they're not urns, but I guess planters rather, um, those are all modular. Uh, so in the demo scene, you saw those put together. Those are individual pieces. And then the candles are also individual candles um, with uh, obviously particle effects, lighting and particle effects that are available for them. Um, <clears throat> so you can really kind of screw around with that and have a good time, uh, you know, adding, adding that to your level and those would pair well with other assets in my opinion as well uh so greenwood uh greenwich green works rather um does do uh they have a couple of other um of other uh uh they have a number of other asset packs well, a couple of them are statue packs these statues i believe are the ones that are in those packs so if you already have those just be aware if not be aware that you don't have to buy those assets if you have these ones um but uh you know it's there's a good amount of detail on these um and <clears throat> uh in different variations um obviously they just expanded it out here to really show that if you expand it out it still has all the same detail you got the same thing going on here little crouching angel um and uh, i think yeah i think the faces on these might be a little different um can't really tell though but then obviously the more you blow it up it it just it just works um so unfortunately there weren't lods on all of the items i would have liked to have seen lods on like maybe the gravestones and stuff like that um and obviously there are in some of the bigger ones, but even then it's not, um, I don't know. It's just not, I, I, this is one of the things that one of the only real, I guess, complaints I had about the other one. I would, I would have liked to see lots on the exterior of their mansion pack. And I would have liked to see lots on all of these, or at least most of these things, but, um, isn't the case. One other thing I would have liked to have seen, what would have been nice is if they had an open, so just this grave mound, if they had an open variant of this, that would have been nice as well. Um, but so just like, a, even if you're doing like, um, like a game where you have to, where you are going to want to be able to like <laughs> rob graves for lack of a better term, having the option to have that asset flip over to like the opened grave afterwards would have been nice to to see something like that or even on these graves having you know if you interact with it having the ability to um have this be a separate piece where you could have the top of the gravestone sort of slide off just a little bit angle off a little bit that would have been nice but those are all kind of fine details that at the end of the day aren't make or break and i think that um I think that there's still value in this asset when you compare it to other other similar assets um you know different graveyard assets and stuff i i think there's still value in this one so um that's a shorter one this time you know because it's a smaller asset uh but that's all i got i do think i do think this one is worth it i think the value is there and i think it's worth picking up um like always if you do decide to buy it and uh, you don't have it already. You decide to buy it. You please use that link. Uh, it allows me to get a little bit of, a little bit of proceeds from it, a little bit of profit from it, and it allows me to keep on doing reviews. Because I, again, as I've said many times before, buy all the stuff with my own money. So um, that helps. Uh, if you have this asset and you like it or don't like it, you know, feel free to leave some comments about what you like or don't like about it. And uh, if you have questions, you can always hit me up in the comments too. Otherwise, I will see everyone in the next one.